Welcome to another Dare to Play. I am Sage. Um, I'll be introducing Munchkins. To start things off, you will draw four cards from each deck, the treasure and the door, opening the door. Four from each deck to each player. And so you should have eight cards total. This is a three to six player game. You'll need 10 tokens, coins, or poker chips, or whatever to count up your, your point system of, uh, you start from one to 10. The first person with 10 wins the game. Uh, there are many different rules to that, so we'll get to that. What I use is the uh, countdown dice from Magic. You could use whatever you need, basically, uh, earlier in our games with this game, we usually just remember where we're at. So you don't really need anything to count with, but it does help. Things do... These cards will mess, mess with you a lot on memorizing where you're at. So it is recommended that you use a dice of some sort or whatever. Alright, so you have two different decks. You have the opening the door, and you have the treasure, and you have two different discard piles. You have one discard pile for one deck, one discard pile for the other deck. You need to keep these discard piles separate, just as you keep the decks separate. Um, one of the reasons why we do this, and it's or one of the reasons why the game is telling you to do this, is uh, if you run out of a deck, uh, you can reshuffle your discard pile and it's your new deck. If you run out of a deck and you have no cards in your discard, then you can't draw any more of that kind of card. Decide who goes first by rolling the dice. Each player rolls the dice and the higher dice roll usually wins. Cards in play are on the table in front of you, showing your race, your class, if any, and items you're carrying. Continuing curses and some other cards also stay on the table after you play them. Cards in your hand are not in play. They do not help you, but they can't be taken away except by cards that specifically affect your hand. At the end of your turn, you may not have more than five cards in your hand. Each type of card can be played at a specific time. Cards in play do not return to your hand. They must be discarded or traded if you want to get rid of them. Everyone starts as a level 1 human with no class. Look at your initial 8 cards. If you have any race or class cards, you may, if you like, play one of each type by placing it in front of you. I'll be going first. And I'll be playing my class or race card. In this case, I played a class card. So I just placed this class card down, and it just made me a wizard. These cards may be played to the table as soon as they are acquired, or at any time during your own turn. The same is true for Super Munchkin and Halfbreed but you must already have a class to play Super Munchkin or a race to play Half-Breed. If you have any usable items, you may play them by placing them in front of you. If you have any doubt about whether you should play a card, you should read below, or you could just charge ahead and just do it. At the start of your turn, you may play cards, switch items from in use to carry, or vice versa, trade items with other players and sell items for levels. When your cards are arranged the way you want, go to phase one. And mine wouldn't be played yet because I haven't started my turn. And phase one is to kick open the door. You draw one card from the deck and place it face up. If it is a monster, you must fight it. 
Resolve the combat completely before you can go on. If you kill it, go up a level or two for some especially nasty monsters and take the appropriate number of treasures, which would be over here. If you draw any other card, you must either put it in your hand or play it immediately. So I played a curse, but there is no uh, no card out on my player side to affect this particular curse. It's a lose one small item. There is no small item up right at the moment, so I'm going to keep the card. Looking for trouble. If you did not draw a monster card when you first opened the door, you now have the option of playing a monster if you have one from your hand and start fighting it, just as if you found it when you kicked open the door. Don't play a monster you can't handle, unless you are sure you can count on getting help. Loot the room. If you did not find a monster and you did look for trouble, you can loot the room. You draw a second card from the door deck face down and place it in your hand. If you met a monster but run away, you don't get to loot the room. If you have more than five cards in your hand, you must play enough to get down to five or give the excess to the players with the lowest level. If players are tied for lowest, divide the cards as evenly as possible, but it's up to you who gets the bigger set of the leftovers. If you are the lowest and tied for lowest, you discard the excess. But now it's the next player's turn. So I'm going to discard <clears throat> My turn is now over. Monsters, if you draw face up during phase one, they immediately attack the person who drew them. If acquired by other way, they go into your hand and may be played during looking for trouble or played on another player with wandering monster cards. Each monster is a single monster even if the name on the card is plural. Certain cards called monster enchancers raise or lower the combat strength of individual. Yes, you can have a negative enchantment. Monsters enchancers may also be played by any player during any combat. All enchanters on a single monster add together. If there are multiple monsters in combat, the person who plays each enchanter must choose which monster it applies to. There is an exception. Anything that enchances a monster also enchances its mate. If ancient enraged and mate are played on a single monster in any order, you are facing an ancient enraged monster and its ancient enraged mate. Good luck. Any item card may be played to the table as soon as you get them, or at any time on your own turn other than in combat, unless the card itself says otherwise. Any one-shot items can be played during any combat whether you have it in your hand or on the table. Some one-shot items such as Wishing Ring may also be used outside of combat. Other items stay on the table in front of you once they are played. You may keep items in front of you that you cannot currently use because of your class or race or because you are already using an item of that same type. Turn these items sideways. These items are carried but not in use. Each item card you play gives a bonus to the player. For instance, I'm level 1 right now as I just started this game. I have foot gear which gives me plus 2 to running away. I have plus 3 bonus for this club. 
It is usable by males only. And yes, your character can switch sex by a curse. So keep that in mind, you may not be a male on next turn. And I got plus two for flaming armor. You have foot gear, one hand, and armor. So right now, with the level I'm at, plus the three and plus the two, I'm at six. That means I could fight a monster six or under. If there's a monster that's above level six, I'm in trouble and I'll need to run away or ask for help. So this is the level two flying frogs. It gives minus one to running away. And it says that right here. It has uh, bad stuff, which is a description. They bite, you lose two levels. We'll get to the bad stuff in a second. And they have a treasure. Usually it'll tell you how many treasures you could pick up after you kill a monster. In this case, it is one treasure. Um, so I am at level six. I could kill this monster. I will not get the bad stuff because I won this fight. He goes to the discard pile for being defeated and I grab one treasure and I go up one level. Okay. Let's say if the tides were different Instead of drawing a level 2, I drew a level 12 Bigfoot. Gets plus 5 against dwarves and halflings. I'm a wizard and I have no race, therefore I'm a human still. So I'm a wizard human. This will not affect me. But he is a level 12 and I'm a level 6 with my normal level being at 1, my plus 3 and my plus 2. My opponent here has 5. So I can't ask for his help. So my only situation I can do at this moment is to run away. If no one can help you, you must run away. If you run away, you don't get any levels or treasure. You don't even get to loot the room. And you don't always escape unharmed. You can only escape on a five or better. So your odds are really against you. Some magic items make it easier or harder to run away. And some monsters are fast and give you a penalty to your roll. For instance, I have this plus two for run away. So whatever I roll, I'll have plus two to that. I just gained five with the three and the two so I can run away. If I escape I can discard the monster. I do not get any treasure and there is usually no bad effects. Let's just say I didn't outrun the monster. The monster catches me and bad stuff happens to me. In this case, the bad stuff is I get stomped flat and it eats my hat. So I lose headgear if I'm wearing any. Lucky for me, I'm not wearing any headgear, so I don't lose it. There is a chance of dying. If I die, I lose all my stuff. I get to keep my class my race, and my level, and any curses that were affecting me when I died. My new character will just look like the old one. If you have a half-breed or a super munchkin, keep those as well. Looting the body. Lay out your hand and beside the cards I have in play. Starting with the one with the highest level, each player chooses one card. In case it tides in level, you roll a dice.
If my corpse runs out of cards, tough. After everyone gets one card, the rest are discarded. My new character appears when the next player begins his turn and can help others in combat. But you have no cards. On your next turn, start by drawing four cards from each deck face down just as you started the game in the first place. Play any legal race, class, or item cards you want to, just as when you started the game. Then take your turn normally. The first player to reach 10th level wins. You must reach 10th level by killing a monster, unless a card specifically allows you to win another way. Nothing can reduce a player's level below level 1. Although card effects might reduce a player's or a monster's combat strength below 1. You could go up a level after combat only if you kill a monster. You cannot collect rewards for defeating a monster in the middle of combat. You must finish the fight before gaining any reward. You must kill a monster to reach level 10. Thank you for watching Dare to Play. We dare you to play Munchkins. It's a Steve Jackson game. So you can find it online or in the link below in the description. There'll be more Dare to Play every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, if you have any suggestions for what games you want us to introduce to Dare to Play, um, you can use hashtag DFC Dare to Play. And as always, thank you for watching. May the force be with you.